another day or month by the time this video goes out. Hi, got a Facebook message saying, do I want some old hoovers that were being, well, they were on a house clearance, I think. And I had some pictures and I went, yeah, go on then. So the deal was done. And this is two of them. This is the two that I do not care about. Wasn't why I wanted the lot, but they were all together. I couldn't say that. I actually got somewhere for this to go. So I thought, right, get the camera out, get them filmed, see they work, and then I can get rid of them. So we're going to give these a test and a bit of a quick refurb and see how we get on, see if they need anything more, see what we're left with. Hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? What we have here in front of us is a Russell Hobbs Power Cyclonic Pet. I'm sure we've had one of these or something very similar before. I think I called it a Hoover on social media and got corrected. That's how bland that is. And this, which is a Samsung Vivid. And it will look very familiar because it is just like that SU3364 that we had a while ago. The one that I did the, did the full refurb on and broke the clip on the bottom of the cyclone. Yes, it's one of those, but it seems they facelifted them. So this has, again, quite a comfy handle and blue detailing and a 2000 watt motor. We'll start off with this one because we can be high up and then we can come down low for the other stuff. Yes, it's got a massive, huge plastic handle. There's nothing rubbery on it. It's all plastic, but yeah, it's exactly the same down the bottom. It's quite funny, really. Bless Samsung. I mean, it's very attractive in its blue colour, but yeah, this is that's how they up marketed it, changed it, probably made it just more expensive and probably sold alongside the others. So yes, we have our, whoop, our hose, which comes up and over here, the same hose as on the other one comes off in the same way. The cable, nice, decent cord, hooks me. It's not a bad machine, it's very structurally, it's all there. Here, well, before we get too carried away, let's turn it on and see what it does. That works really very well indeed. There's great suction, there's, the, the, there's a belt. That's pretty good. It's also quite surprising because the bin is, you can't really see, incredibly full look. And a lot of people commented on the video of the other one. They didn't work very well when they were full. And I sort of did agree because they, you know, they don't. It seems to be getting there. Filter is a bit dirty. But bar that, let's turn it on now. Watch for the cloud. <laughs> Alright, this filter that we need to remove. Oh, all is not bad, even the filter. It's, it's actually made of a sort of material this time. Definite difference to the other one. So, well... Okay, we have a very good working machine and it's even got all of its tools. Look, the awful dual tool and the one slash crevice tool. No turbo nozzle 
on this machine, which is zero loss because they are absolutely terrible. Right, let's come down a bit and, well, we'll get ready to work on it because we'll have a look underneath. I'm sure we'll need to clean that off and we need to get the bin clean as well. Oh, here we go then. So we shall recline it and see what is what. We don't need to take that off, really. There's a couple of little bits, but, you know, overall, that's absolutely fine. In fact, I think all we should really do is give it a quick vacuum off. With the machine looking much better, indeed, we can turn our attention to what is in here. Ooh, that is a bit full. to do this to empty benches this weekend and <laughs> gosh do I need to right that's not been emptied in a while has it there we go so that's in there we will take the three screws out from inside more open although there isn't much to it we can put the end back onto bench and give it a bit of a dust <laughs> take a little bit but it's just not worth the machine isn't worth stripping and well I should know because the SU334 whatever it was but yeah fully stripped it down I mean yes I broke it that's that that's basically what killed any possible payday from that vacuum and yeah it sold for 20 quid and I just think that this will probably sell for 20 quid as well with just this work done to it because yeah people like cheap vacuum cleaners and there's worse cheap vacuum cleaners out there let's be honest we're all a bit fond of these looking at the comments from the last video anyway 
lots of fondness for them. You might, you don't see them anymore, and I've certainly never seen one that's this shape and style and etc. So I'm going to carry on giving this a clean, and we'll come back when it's done. And just like that, for well unedited that was only about 10-15 minutes we have a very tidy vacuum cleaner saw a picture in the paper the other day of a young lad one who i haven't seen before or heard of who does the old collecting and this is basically how it works even i do it even me filters are here they need to be washed so we'll pop those over there put this over here and have a look at our little Russell Hob trailer. Now this is all I have for this, the hose and two ones. No small tools or big tools here. So we'll take, oh, oh yeah, I can't read on the handle, can I? We'll take the cable out, see it in order. And these things never don't work. If this doesn't just turn on and be very loud, I should be very surprised. We have variable suction, or rather, or rather variable speed control because me turning that knob does not make any more suction come out the front of this thing at all really, which we all kind of expected. Why do you think I have Mr. Benchington sat behind me? who's in need of a bag change anyway. So in here we have a little bit of detritus and a filter which is actually full of dust. So that's good. problem though. There's another filter in here, which I wouldn't say is bad. Oh, what's going on with our little trainer? Not even got the dirt in it. Ooh, well, I wouldn't call that, you know, probably is this filter, you know, it's probably this. I, I don't have the apex with me, I've lent it out to somebody. Uh, the ideal for this, for Alan laugh, because the back door's open anyway. There's one more filter, which is again, pretty clean. for some reason but I don't it probably is this but it's so compacted in together after even less of a clean because somebody I know wants this for a car vacuum and it's flipping ideal because I don't have to find any tools for it he can have it as is do we have any more suction well that's about what it had before oh. there before and Light work 
parts as well. So I think both of these machines are just have what I call bagless really, in that you know their filters just need a good wash. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to chuck them for a quick cycle in the washing machine, all of them. That's not the nice post motor filter on that because it is clean. It's just got carbon dust on it. And I'll give this a bit of a clean up as well. And then we'll come back and finish the video and see if we've got any more suction coming through them with clean filters. Thanks to a combination of me sticking it in the washing machine almost as soon as we finished filming yesterday and some sunny weather this morning and an airing cupboard everything came out really well all went through the washing machine and our little j cloth filter is spotless as is the sponge there from the samsung and then these are from the russell hobbs and again came out pretty much like new very impressed indeed so does it still work so does it still work it doesn't have to work much better to be a lot better than it was before so we'll pop that one on there <coughs> and then we'll put this one in here which is going to get most of the abuse i guess because the other filters are not going to be terribly great we put the bin on and with some power here, I can't put it too much because my lights are plugged into it. Oh, it's on. Wow! That is full power. Even on minimum, it can now just about hold its hose up. Up there with these. So our training shoe is now sucking up well again and should hopefully make somebody a nice free cheap car vacuum. As for Le Samsung Vivid, oh, we shall put its filters back into place. Put the bin back on. I'm not going to do loads of vacuuming with this. I don't want to get too dirty again. So I want to try and sell it today. Cheap vacuums like this always go well. Now it doesn't go on there. Always forget that. It goes into here. And then this goes on. So we shall drop the cable. Now this worked pretty well before. So I'm not expecting this to work you know, much better now as such, although it should be a bit improved. Wow. Yeah. We now have 4,000 watts of power with airflow to match. Fantastic. So there we go, really. These weren't free. I did pay some actual money for them. I know. How weird am I? But yeah, these are now done again. Zero cost, just a couple of minutes of cleaning and a trip through the washing machine of all the filters. We can now say that we have looked at the Samsung SU4041 with its very weird handle and sure we've had one of these before meh it works well so these are done two of the machines that i have from my little job lot the rest are far more exciting but of course i've got to do a video on them because hey people like the last one this one's even better because look fancy plastic handle so there we go thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed and i but not these vacuum cleaners We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.